After visiting a refugee camp of over 4,000 people, I cannot help but have a new understanding of the evil in the world. If the stories of anger, pain, and fear are not enough to describe evil, I don't know what is. After barely escaping a literal hell on earth and being trafficked through Libya, these 23-year-old boys are telling stories of seeing bodies being mutilated, shot, and thrown in holes every single day, living in dungeons and hiding on the streets, working for food, and not getting any. If one didn't die in Libya, death was likely trekking through the Sahara. The only way to survive is to pay the money you didn't make from the job you were working, or when you were working for food, to be put on an overcrowded boat with people sitting in piles on top of each other. 700 people died in one day because of overcrowded boats sinking and fake life jackets. Of the 150 people on the boat, only 15 will make it off alive. Saltwater burns covering entire bodies and blindness from floating for days, maybe to be picked up some point in between Libya and Sicily, or washed up on a shore somewhere. You were told you were going home, back to the violence and poverty that brought you here in the first place. But you find yourself on an island of people who speak a strange language, look different, and don't want to acknowledge your existence once you do get there. There's a good chance your new refugee camp will be ran by the Mafia. It will take you months to get your paperwork processed, maybe even years. You will always get to the doctor, Domani, or tomorrow. Your court date to get asylum, Domani, or work opportunities will be Domani. If you can find someone to hire you, it will be controlled by the mafia, where you will work 20 hours a day and get paid for 4 hours a week. If being told these stories time after time while looking into people's eyes was not enough, if seeing the sadness and pain and fear and anger on people's faces was not enough, even the details in nature screamed out that there is evil here. As I looked at these thorny plants on the road outside of the camp, all I saw was this evil and death in the world. But later, when I looked back at this photo, I saw that the sun and light are still shining. I remembered that these same boys also shared stories of God's love, hope, grace, and mercy. Amen. <laughs>